Hey everybody, it's Hayley and today I'm going to show you an extremely easy way to make an iced mocha latte at home. I've made this drink so many times since I learned how easy and delicious it is because sometimes I just want coffee. I can't always go spend money on some Starbucks even though I'd like to. Anyway, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna make the coffee. If you already have your coffee made, then, you know, you don't have to do this part. And so I've got my coffee maker right here. You can also use an espresso shot for this recipe, but um, since some people don't have espresso makers, then I'm making normal coffee. So I'm gonna start by adding one cup of water to the coffee maker. Oh my goodness, I might have spilled. <laughs> and then I'm going to add my coffee filters and I'm using two, um, just because. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of ground coffee. And you kinda wanna make a stronger coffee than you normally would for this recipe. The coffee that I'm using is dark roast, so I think it's gonna have like a deeper coffee flavor, and it also says notes of dark chocolate, so perfect for a chocolate drink and then I'm just gonna turn this on and wait till my coffee's made okay my coffee is done and now I'm gonna pour half a cup of coffee into whatever cup you want to use Oh my gosh, that was scary. And then to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of chocolate syrup, or you could do two and a half tablespoons if you like your drink sweeter. And I'm gonna mix that all together. And then I'm gonna add half a cup of almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you want. And at this point, you can taste it, see if you like the sweetness and the chocolatiness, or if it needs more coffee, and then you're gonna add your ice. I always just kind of eyeball it, but I think it's about half a cup to one cup, or just enough to fill up your cup. Okay, it's all done. Oh, this is totally optional, but one of my favorite things to do is stir it up and listen to the ice. And then drink it, okay? Mmm, so good. It's got good coffee flavor and good chocolate flavor, and then I think it's just a perfect balance of everything. And we didn't have to spend a ton of money to make it. Let me know in the comments if you ever try this recipe or if there are any other coffee recipes that you want me to try and test out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Done. And I'm looking in the wrong spot. A thumbs up and click this... Blah, blah, blah.